When I was just out of college, I read this book called Girdle, Escher, Bach, An Eternal Golden Braid by Douglas Hofstadter. The book is about the phenomenon of intelligence and how it emerges from the brain, and also how we might implement intelligence in machines. And it just changed my life because it showed me that I wanted to go into artificial intelligence. I work kind of at the intersection of AI and cognitive science and complex systems. I'm interested in how we humans are able to think abstractly and make analogies, that is to be able to perceive or recognize two different situations as being essentially similar in, in an abstract level. And then to ask, how can we give that ability to machines? How can we make a machine recognize an analogy? This is something that's really, I think, the missing link in artificial intelligence. We have computers that can recognize objects, they can drive cars to some extent, they can play games like chess and go at levels beyond humans, but they can't do the simplest thing that even, say, a two-year-old child can do, which is to fluidly and flexibly generalize what they've learned to new situations. That's something I'm interested in figuring out, how to get machines to do that. One of the important features of intelligence is being able to have a kind of internal model of the world and to be able to simulate that model to predict what's going to happen. So whenever I interact with anybody, I can sort of predict to some extent what they're going to do or how they're going to react to certain other things. And this is because I, I have a, models of how the world works and how other people work. This is something that, for instance, a self-driving car is going to need to be able to predict, say, what a pedestrian is going to do. Whenever you have these constrained domains, then machines can often do quite well in them. But when you have the real world and open-ended situations, that's where what we might call common sense comes into play, and that's something that machines lack. Analogy is the way we deal with novelty that occurs all the time. Without making analogies, which we do unconsciously all the time, we can't really do things that we haven't encountered before. Until we get machines to make analogies, they're, they're not gonna be trustworthy or flexible enough to deal with the real world in the way that we do. At the very beginning of AI, it was well integrated with other disciplines like psychology, neuroscience, philosophy. But as AI kind of moved away from approaches that were inspired by these other disciplines, it relied much more on statistics and less from trying to imitate the mechanisms that biologically intelligent systems use. It's almost like it's a victim of its own success. It's been so successful that people haven't needed to go back to the fundamentals of intelligence, of the science of intelligence. But now it seems like deep learning, deep neural networks are reaching a kind of a limit in what they can do. So people are now thinking, maybe we should look back at things like developmental psychology, how do children learn, or feedback in the brain something that's extremely important but is completely lacking in most neural networks. So I think that it's really important that we now bring back into AI some of these earlier ideas about intelligence and what makes a system truly intelligent.